welcome back to So What If I Sew, or welcome if you're new. Uh, you join me for a slightly strange introduction to my week in sewing, or in fact, in honour of Me Made May, it's going to be my week in mending. Now, I'm filming this on Sunday night because I'm going to work tomorrow morning and I have to get up very, very early um, and be gone by like half six. So I thought it was best to film a little introduction to the week now. So what's going to be different this week to normal? Uh, there's going to be one sewing project. So I am 90% done with my dad's shirt. I just need to do the sleeve plackets and pop the sleeves in and then attach the buttons, which is, you know, the buttons are fine. I'm only really worried about the sleeve placket at the moment. So that's my one sewing project for the week. And then everything else I'll be doing is mending. So I have over the last couple of weeks, um, every time I've worn something or wanted to wear something for me made May and seen an issue with it, or you know it's missing a fastening or something's fallen off or anything like that, I've been throwing them in the sewing room in a bag. So I now have a, a decent sized bag full of things to be mended. So this week I'm gonna take you with me as I mend all of those items, whether that's reattaching things, maybe altering a few bits, um, I'm definitely, I've got a small pile of things to overlock that are fraying like mad and desperately need their inside seams overlocking. Um, so it's going to be a little bit of a different week to normal and I'm going to try and like show you how I look after my wardrobe as well and you know talk about how I feel about some pieces and generally really put some effort into looking after my me made clothes. The, the excitement of sewing doesn't just stop when you've made your clothes although that is a very exciting point. Um, we also wanna make sure we're looking after our me-maids and doing what I like to call clothing maintenance. So I do have a bag throughout the year of things that just need to be fixed or need a new zip or whatever it is. So we're gonna crack through those this week. So as I will be in work for around 10 hours tomorrow, um, and then I've got my dance class after work, which I will get home for just in time, fingers crossed. Um, then I will hopefully get some mending done tomorrow night. But I wanted to do the introduction today so that just in case Monday is a washout and my work day goes a lot longer, then you guys know what the plan is and what we're going to get going. So my first item I'd like to mend are my beautiful collots. So my black and white abstract point collots, which are on screen right now. Um, and I'm gonna put them out on the desk and as a one job coming home on a Monday, um, I need to in interlock the inside seams because I've never, and I honestly, never have had a fabric fray as badly as they are fraying at the moment. So much so that my legs keep getting caught when I put my legs into the trousers on these huge fraying crotch seams. Now, luckily it's not damaging the integrity of the seams because there's a fairly big seam allowance, but I'm gonna nip it in the bud. <laughs> and just go over everything I can get out with my overlocker. And that is the goal for tomorrow night. So I'm gonna head to bed now, and I'm really looking forward to a week of mending um, and a week of sewing with you guys for May. everyone it is Tuesday so yesterday was a complete write-off um, in terms of sewing because I literally I'm not even kidding I got up at six I was out the house by well I got up like five to six um I was out the house by half past um I was on the train by like 22 and then full day of work uh, and did like a 10 hour work day and then my train was delayed on the way home and I just wasn't feeling great so last night literally came home had a bath and fell asleep on the sofa <laughs> so today I'm slightly more hopeful um, I am doing a slightly short, well I'm doing a normal work day, yesterday it was like 10, 11 hours. Um, so I should be home in good time to do some decent sewing tonight and some mending. Uh, yesterday I wore my lotter and as I said on Instagram, um, I suddenly realised while I was wearing it I need to hem the sleeves and redo the ba base hem as well. Now I know how to do round hems. So I'm going to redo that at some point this week as well. So it's gone straight, it's in the wash and then it'll go into the mending pile. But otherwise, I think the goal tonight is to just overlock a load of seams. I'm going to try and split it into sewing mending jobs and like proactive um, seam finishing and that sort of thing to prevent or stop current fraying. Oh, so now I'm off to London. I'm in a slightly comfier outfit today. However, I do have my Size Me Sewing VM blouse on underneath. I just want to be slightly more comfortable when I'm travelling because it's quite a long commute. Um, and then, yeah, I will be back this evening to join you guys.
So uh, my voice is going a bit, excuse me. So it's Tuesday night, I've done work, all finished, come home, it's chucking it with rain. So what better night to do a little bit of mending with my overlocker and a little bit of sewing, but we'll see how the mending goes first. So the plan is, my beautiful clots, um, I'll show you guys the inside so you can see what the problem is. You'll see it pretty immediately. Um, so I adore these, they get, um, they're the most worn thing I've ever made. But as you can see, there is some serious fraying going on inside. So much so, it's almost making them slightly unwearable. Like, look at this. Um, so, what I'm going to do is turn them completely inside out. And then go along every single raw edge that I can find. And overlock them all. Because I love these so much. I want to extend the longevity of the item. And it's actually not that difficult to do so. So um, it'll be a little bit of tricky, there might be the odd tricky bit, because it's frayed so much, but we'll take it slowly and this is my starting point. The next garment is a quick one, another light one, and this is lovely, it's a rust coloured, um, oh, sand washed, like faux satin, um, sorry, sand washed faux silk, I think it's actually polyester, um, but it's from the rag shop, I love it, but as you will see... Again, very, very raw facings, um, and yeah, they're just fraying again so badly. So I'm gonna go through those. And my stretch garment is, I adore this shirt. It's fantastic. The only thing is the bottom edge is fraying because it's viscose and it can afford to have a tiny bit taken off it. And then I'll have to fold it under again. So it can afford to have that much off it to have a clean edge. Um, but I'm going to be so careful that I don't cut off any more than literally just just binding that edge. I may not even cut. I might just bind it without using the knife. We'll see. Um, we'll, yeah, we'll see how it looks. But yeah, so those are the three garments I'm going to attempt this evening. If I get those done, I'm going to do a little bit of work on my dad's shirt because the buttons arrived this evening. So although the sleeves aren't on yet because I've not done the, the sleeve placket, I'm more comfortable doing buttons and buttonholes than I am doing uh, like sleeves and sleeve plackets. So I'd rather get everything I'm happy doing done first and then I'll leave the, the sleeve placket to the end. Um, so that will be my stretch task this evening. Um, but otherwise, let's get going. Let's do some sewing finally this week. forget how quick overlocking is so I'll show you what I've done I'm not doing any mending sewing tonight tonight was just going to be to get through the pile of overlocking so there we go nice new hem on my shirt um which yeah I will turn under basically on itself and do a rolled hem but that already looks much much better um I love this shirt so much uh, lots of people ask me about it when I post it on Instagram it is the boxy shirt from My Handmade Wardrobe. It was a free pattern in, I think, September's issue of Love Sewing. So, thoroughly recommend it. Really, really nice on this. I get a lot of wear out of it. I'd get even more if I remembered to iron it. So, that one's done. Um, I actually did a bit of another garment, which is in my lap, so I'll show you, which is my VN dress. Because my rows of gathering were um, also fraying quite badly as were my sleeve heads and it was annoying when I was putting it on so I've made some nice neat sleeve heads there's some other bits to finish on here but as I wasn't even planning to do it tonight that's you know a little bit of that one done I am just throwing them away from me right now because everything's gonna get washed and pressed um here is this is my Anita camisole that's it 
my Anita Cam is all from Tanny Handmade, which is cute. So now that has lovely finished um, facings and also all the inside seams are done as well. So they're just all joined together, which is lovely. And to be honest, I actually quite like the thread uh, visible. So I might leave it because I thought it was a bit plain before. So I might leave it. I think it's quite cute. It gives it like quite nice. I'm not holding it straight. Don't worry. That's not like a horribly uneven hem. There we go. Um, It is... Yeah, I'm still not holding that at all straight, but I'm going to go through and like properly straighten it off and everything. But at least now it's not fraying, which is a win. And then kind of gone reverse order here. Um, my culotte. So I've done my best. Still so much better. In particular, those big fraying bits I showed you before. Now neatly overlocked. It's very hard to overlock things once they're stitched in place, but I've done my best. Um, and I'm also really happy with the job I've done on the back of the waistband here. Because that is just so, so much better. I've overlocked a couple of the seams together just to create one like stronger thing because they get so much wear. And I did the pockets as well. There they are on the front. So as you can see, they now sit really neatly. There's no fraying. I did the centre front seam because that was annoying me when I was putting them on. Um, and yeah, so really, really productive. So next job is put the overlocker away. Um, I need to get some water because I'm losing my voice again. Um, and then I am going to do some buttonholes on my dad's shirt, I think. I'll only do a couple because it's quite late and I don't want to get any wrong. But equally, I'm quite excited because that is that's a skill I know how to do. My machine's good at it. You know, it's it's kind of one ticked off the list. And that's how I'm viewing making the shirt. I'm learning a lot it's going to be done this week i've already done so much actually let me show it to you so um i've not really shown anyone this because i was trying to keep it secret for my dad however um i didn't realize that my dad reads my blog um and i wrote a blog post about making it so he messaged me i was like when's my shirt gonna be ready so i was like oh well he knows now so i can show you so here we are we have no sleeves and no side seams but we have a lovely collar and a cute um, pink coat club label and um, nice box pleat in the back so it's coming together actually i'm really happy with you can see where my buttons are gonna go with chalk um yeah i'm really happy with this and um, the only thing is the pattern matching is ever so slightly off across the front but i don't think he'll necessarily yeah, it's like um it's about yeah it's like that much off which is quite frustrating but i you know I'm really happy with it actually. It's a really cute shirt. I think he's gonna love it. And um, yeah, I, I think he's quite exact. So <laughs> I think he will he will notice that it's not exactly pattern match, but I think he'll just be really happy to get a shirt, which he should be because it's taken ages. So there it is, lovely. So the next job is I'm gonna put the buttonholes on and put the buttons on because then it's just done. Um, and then it will be sleeves, flat fell seams on the sides, uh, cuffs and a bottom hem and then we're done and now I also have a rolled hem foot so I, I might be able to do a slightly neater hem on this as well. done um i've done a couple of buttonholes um something's gone slightly strange with my sewing machine there's a weird thread jam which i'm going to investigate further in the morning it's very strange i might have to send it off for a service as soon i think it's starting to make some weird noises um but yeah really successful day now i'm going to bed and uh, tomorrow i'll be working from home so hopefully some proper sewing tomorrow which will be great
Wednesday night. Uh, it's been quite a day and I'm exhausted. So I really didn't feel up to any sewing because I knew, you know, those days when you know that whatever you sew, you're going to make horrible mistakes. So I couldn't really get up the courage to sew today. However, I have been doing some blogging, which is nice. Um, and I'm writing a blog post about proactive mending, um, uh, which is what I've been doing this week, which is all about reinforcing existing garments before there are issues, spotting problems early on, and kind of knowing how to deal with those things. So um, that blog post will come out towards the end of the week. I just want to proofread it when I'm a little bit more awake. Um, so that's that's all from me tonight. on the floor of the sewing room I was previously surrounded by fabric um, and it is Friday so I skipped Thursday for a couple of reasons um, firstly I really lost my voice last night and then secondly uh, it's the day before my period and I was exhausted like absolutely wiped out and I had to get up really early this morning to go to London so I thought I'd just draw a line under yesterday it'd been a rough day and um, I've moved on to my sewing room now so we're currently we've also got um a plumber in fixing our hot water um so i'm in the comfiest of clothes but today um i've, I've been putting in pictures of my outfit every day even if i haven't been um, vlogging because i thought me made me it's quite nice to see what i'm wearing so i've just done a load of polls on my stories to help me figure out literally i've been surrounded by fabric it's a lot tidier now um to help me decide what i fancy making because i fancy just making something like not something planned or anything like that i just fancy doing something like a fun quick project so i had a couple of ideas um and the two i'm kind of trying to choose between at the moment is making another version of my amaya shirt which is on screen now in this beautiful bottle green viscose from um well it's lady mcelroy but it's uh, felicity fabrics i bought it from originally and i've been trying to think of a good project for it so it's super lightweight. I love the Amaya shirt. Other bonuses are it doesn't require any notions and I do have the right colour thread for it. So there's that. Or there is a nice summer dress from Butterick, which came in Love Sewing a couple of months ago and I've been making view B, so this one. Um, and I put up a poll of my stories and it was overwhelming that I should use this fabric. So nice red summery dress. And I do have some red thread and I've also got a zip. It is black, but considering my zip will be invisible, it doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, like I've, I've got two projects there. Um, I think I'm probably gonna make both, um, but it's just which one I start with. Cause actually the more I think about it, the more that that, um, that green fabric would be perfect for my main shirt. Um, and I really do wear my red one a lot, but also this is a much lighter weight viscose. The red, spot cotton I made my first Amaya shirt in is like highly structured so I thought it might be nice having a floatier version for the summer and it would look cute with jeans and you know it's also smart enough for work and it will probably transition well so either way I'm definitely going to make um another version in this fabric it's just a case of what I sew tonight So I'm going to head to bed because it's pretty late now but I thought I'd just show you where I got up to. I chose not to do any mending because I was really on a roll with my um, Amaya shirt. So here we are. We've got a shirt. We have a nice crisp 
front V there with some lovely top stitching which is sort of hidden but I like a lot. I'm already really excited about this. And the back panel's in and the top of the raglan sleeves are in. So the next job is to gather the bell sleeves, attach them on here and then we do one long side seam all the way down and then it's literally just necktie and hem so it's pretty quick but I just I'm already I'm so enamored with my decision to do this like it's so flowy and light I think it's gonna look really pretty as an Emea shirt it's gonna be slightly less structured than my red one and I think it's gonna be really versatile and so nice in the summer I would think so really happy with my progress today I'm gonna head to bed now as you can hear my throat's um, really sore so I'm going to head to bed and uh, pick this up, finish it in the morning, do a load of mending jobs just to clear them and then get on to my tea dress in the afternoon. Good morning everyone and happy Saturday. We are in the sewing room, I'm in my pyjamas as is traditional really on Saturdays. Um, I have an enormous cup of tea and we're going to do some sewing. So I have three jobs I want to do this morning um, that I've been meaning to do all week. So, um, and plus one fun one. So first, first fun one, I'm gonna finish my Emea shirt. I've not got much left to do, so I'll just bang through that. And then I'm, oh, it's just gonna be really pretty. I'm so excited. So, job one. Job two is to attach all those hook and eyes. I think I've got three or four garments that need it. It won't take long. It's a job I've been avoiding for months and uh, need to do this week. Job three is the collaboration project with Tamlin um, that we're doing and it will be released soon I promise we've both just been so busy um, I need to hem the bottom of it so I'm not going to tell you what it is but you will see hemming in progress but otherwise the garment's completely done I literally just need to hem them and then the final bit is just to look through the mending bag and check if there's anything else that needs to be done that may have been for example sat in there for quite a while I'm quite good for having a mending bag like once something needs to be mended I do just throw it in there so I do remember like as in so I know it needs to be mended because it's in the bag but sometimes I throw stuff in and forget exactly what has to be mended so I'm going to go through those as well with you guys um a little bit later on but first of all some super chill fun Saturday morning sewing and we'll finish my Amea shirt then once I get my other jobs done I'm going to work on my lovely red tea dress today um I'm still my dad's shirt I need to attach some buttons and things to but honestly the sleeve placket is still really getting me so I might also watch some videos on that this afternoon um, but my other plan is um, to have a go I really just need some time to have a go so I want to almost get all the other sewing jobs off my brain to then do the sleeve placket because everything else on that I know how to do everything else is fine um, so I might attach the buttons this morning, um, again, so it's just done, and I might hem it this morning, I'll see. Um, but yeah, so, jobs in order, a Maya shirt, hooks and eyes, hemming that secret project, quick run through the rest of the hemming, um, through the mending items to see what I've got to do, and finally, um, a little crack at some buttons on my dad's shirt, so let's do it. So my blouse is finished and I'm in love. Look at this, it's so floaty. Um, I was worried that it would be like too floaty, but actually I love it. Um, I love the pattern, I love um, my last one, it's it's a lot bolder because of the colour. 
but um, the kind of mixed pattern of this one I think is really beautiful and it's really going to transition well for like autumn and winter as well so I'm going to go try it on, take a few photos and then grab some lunch and then get on to some mending jobs this afternoon. So I mentioned this a couple of vlogs ago, but this is actually how I attach hook and eyes because I hate hand sewing. So what I do is I use the little button foot on my machine. Oh God, I've moved it, hang on. Um, and I use the button setting and then I um, adjust it for the width I need. And then I use my machine to sew these up. So what I do to start with is I use the hand wheel at the side. Sorry, it's hard to do this with one hand because my tripod's being a bit annoying today. There we go, so I'm holding my phone, and there we go. So I hand wheel it a couple of times, really get it into place, and then I will give it a quick nudge on the machine. There we go, all done. And I'll do the same for the eye on the other side, and then they're all in and it takes two seconds. A little bit fiddly to set up, but so quick to sew. So, um, my lovely green top is finished. The pile of mending on the floor is complete, which is fabulous. And as you can see, it's a little bit of a tip. Uh, so, to finish off my Saturday, I'm going to have a tidy up in here. I'm gonna time lapse it for you guys. And I'm gonna finish off my blog. Um, Adam has got a drinks thing with his, uh, the male side of his family this evening on Zoom, which is cute. So he'll be in here. So I'm gonna tidy up and then have a nice relaxing evening to myself. So, let's get tidying. after tea tonight however um <laughs> I had a knife slip in the kitchen and I've cut into my hand and I've cut like into my like half my nails hanging off and everything uh, which is a bit gross uh, well I've like cut into it thankfully it's not hanging off currently um so I've plastered up however it's really painful to use my left hand so there may not be any s'more sewing tonight uh, so in case there isn't and in case this is too sore to carry on Um, thank you guys for watching this week. It's been a little bit of a different tone this week, partially because I've been back at work. Um, and the thing is that normally I do a job that doesn't allow me to do much sewing during the week. So thank you all for watching this week. It has been a little bit more different. Uh, next week um, we're going up to Scotland so uh, for a funeral. So I'm going to pre-film a look back on my spring makes as we're getting to the end of spring. Oh, where is it gone and why is it still only 12 degrees and chucking it down? Um, so you can look forward to that next week. Um, and yeah, let me know what's been your favourite bit of this week, whether you liked seeing me mending, and I look forward to speaking to you all next time and next weekend. Until then, have a fab week and thanks for watching. Bye.